Hey, it's Damon from Let'sTiki.com. Today I want to tell you about a great book that I read recently. It's called Murder on Tiki Island, and it was written by Tiki Chris Pinto. The book takes place in October of 1956 and follows the adventures of Detective Bill Riggins, a New York City detective who's been forced to take a little vacation. So he decides to go down to the Florida Keys for a little rest and relaxation. However, it wasn't long before he got down there and the vacation turned into anything but relaxing. He got tangled up into two women, a murder mystery, and some paranormal activity. The author did a great job setting up Tiki Island in my mind. He combined all the great things that are at the Tiki Palaces from around the world into one cool Tiki Island resort. I really want to go there on vacation. This place sounded great. The author also did his homework really well. All the details and references in the book made me really feel like I was back in 1956. The contrast, too, between New York City, cold, gray, unfriendly place, into the Florida Keys with its vivid, bright, beautiful location really made Tiki Island even more beautiful in my mind. Detective Riggins, he was the hero in the story. However, he wasn't without his flaws or his vices. He had a little bit of an ego, and you could tell he felt like he was invincible. But he had a big heart, and all of that combined together to make him really likable and more human-like. I'd highly recommend this book to any Tiki fan. All the Tiki details in the book were great. I mean, the place even had a shipwreck-style bar where mermaids were swimming in a pool behind it. Sound familiar? You can get the book on Amazon. For more information, go to keywestmurdermystery.com. And Tiki Chris does a great blog, too. It's called um, tikiloungetalk.com. So get out of this cold fall and winter and escape down to the Florida Keys with Bill Riggins. I truly felt like I was on vacation, and I never even left Wisconsin. Mahalo.